My name is Nana, but welcome to the show. And we are still building up to Brazil 2014. Of course, Ghana will win the World Cup if you believe. Say, yeah, I believe we'll win. Yeah. I mean, anytime I say that, people get really um, upset. But yes, I believe in the Black Stars. We are going to Brazil not to joke, not to get to the semi finals like some are claiming. We are going to the final and we will beat Brazil or Germany, whoever qualifies for the final. This morning, I've got um, three people to discuss the game with us. Uh, they are from very different backgrounds, but they will make an attempt to discuss soccer. Um, Joey Ansa, son of the legendary fashion designer Kofi Ansa. Joey is an actor. Uh, he's actually a British actor. I have to add that one. Um, you're a fight choreographer as well. Uh, you dance. You know martial arts. Wow. <laughs> I wear a lot of hats. I see that. I see that. You're definitely a jack here. Anyway, good to have you on the show, Joey. Nice to be here. Okay, and then uh, Valentina from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, yeah. Africa Hall. Is it Africa Specific. Hall or African Hall? Africa. Africa. Africa Hall. Yeah. Is a hall for ladies? Yeah, just ladies. Just ladies. And you've yeah. got your whole week celebrations coming up? Yeah. Oh, so starting is today. Starting today? Yeah, first of March. And you're in Accra? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to publicize, basically. Okay. Nice. I love your hair. Very Thank natural. Thank you very much. Is it by coincidence that you're in the Africa Hall? Uh, your African look? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good to see you, Valentina. Good and then you. Adam. Um, you know, I'm in a very good mood. You would have taken that thing off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get one for you too. Who? Accra Academy. Yeah, Why would I wear that? You're a big fan of this. Me? No, I'm not. Really? <laughs> Kaneshi <laughs> High School. Kaneshi. Oh, first light. First light International. Te technical <laughs> college. Oh, come on. It's not a technical school. What is it? It's the school that disciplines people. That's why it's an academy. It's not a school. It's an academy. It's an academy. Where, where every discipline you have, you <laughs> build it. Really? Yeah. Fantastic. Anyway, um, and you are organizing some games as well? Yes. Um, we're organizing the Boba Games. The who? The Boba Games. What's that's, that? That's them, Bleo, or that there, Boche, and then Adisco. So ah, Prosec. The seconds, the seconds are in the there. Are in the, um, the Santa Clausians are in there, and then the Kwabu Tree Boys are also in there. Oh, um, you know you will lose, right? No. <laughs> 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 no, we're not going to lose. Um, last year, actually, we had it against Presec, and they were, they, were, they were walloped. I mean, it was a master seven situation. Really? Yeah, five goals to nil. <laughs> Um, oh, well, football, they're, they're, they're football, they're, 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 Prosec, yes, yeah, I think yeah, they will lose. But when it comes horrible. to science, you know, the intellectual abilities, Prosecans have No, everything. I give science to them. But again, when it comes to business, making money, <laughs> dealing with people, you know, trying to, trying to pull strings, entrepreneurship, <laughs> that's a crack That's a crack at No doubt. Fantastic. My brother was actually at a crack at Bullary was at a crack at Yeah, Bullary, today is today's Bullary's birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, oh. senior. It's my senior, so happy birthday, senior. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You're taking advantage, aren't you? Well, it's a good platform to say happy okay. birthday. Okay. Joey, you like football? Not as much as the average guy. I think I'm in the minority of guys, particularly in the UK, or Ghana, being the two halves of my heritage that isn't football obsessed. Hmm. You know, I think I've always chosen slightly more unusual sort of solo sports, whether it's martial arts or gymnastics or acrobatics and stuff. But I try and keep a kind of general overview of the sport. It's, you know, I don't like being ignorant about anything. And I, go, I went to a Chelsea game a few years ago, for example. A few friends are season ticket holders. So I try and, you know, mm. dip in and out and, and keep a kind of general overview, such as Man U's woes. Under, <laughs> this under, under, under it's only management. for this season. It's a, it's a minor setback. Yeah, next season we'll find our rhythm. Hopefully. We will. Okay. Keep quiet. <laughs> okay. So you, but you follow the Black Stars. Yeah, I mean, on an international stage, I mean, the, the biggest thing from from the UK in the last World Cup, the, what stood out to me is is their pace is blistering. They seem to be one of the fastest teams on the world stage in terms of pace and drive into. The enemy hub. It just seems the inability to finish consistently. I was asking when I was here, are there any sort of dedicated striking 
academies <laughs> in Ghana yet because that seems to be the, 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 the missing piece if you yeah. have that lethal you know yeah because we have a very good midfield actually mm. we are noted for our midfield yeah yeah but um, it's always the finishing that's the problem yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's a traditional thing I mean the way the way we, we, we get into playing football from from childhood you know you play there a small post we don't have a lot of parks in Ghana so you, we're used to playing small posts, you know, in, in, in small areas. Yeah. So it's combative, you know, the intent is not to score goals. I mean, it's, it's more like to keep, the ball. to keep the ball to sure. yourself, possessive football. Okay. And then, so you don't have big goal posts where you can try to um, cross balls or shoot balls from long range or where you have a goalkeeper you're trying to beat. So naturally, that tendency is always post, there. But a small post thing is not just a Ghanaian thing. It's in Brazil too. It's in Brazil. But it's, it's very dominant in South America, but they have very great strikers. So it can't be... But, but Brazilians, what, what the difference between the Ghanaian concept and the Brazilian concept is that they, they, they believe, um, they have community teams, you know. So in, in, in an area like Kanda, for example, there's a team that represents the area. So that team always goes into competitions with areas like Adabrakao, you know. But in Ghana here, you hardly have that. Even our okay. code system is, is entirely out. So it's difficult for us to, you know, groom those guys who start with a small post to guys who, are, who can actually play on normal, you know, football size pitches. And so there's always that difficulty. And that's why it's become a generational trend where you, you even have guys succeeding. And so. You can only, only always rely on you know a few people to deliver the goods. So mostly, mostly the Black Stars team, for example, is the, is the midfielders who, who, who get the goals for us most yeah. of the time. Asamajan yeah. does well. Yeah, Asamajan does, and um, Asama originally didn't even start as a striker. I mean, it was when I when, when was when at Accra Academy yes, as well. Yes, right? I was coming to that. <laughs> <laughs> when, when You're taking liberties here. No, that's why I say that at Accra Academy we grow disciplines, and so we are perfect in everything we do. You know, in our, in our various disciplines, and that's why I some Rajan, <laughs> for example, is the captain of the Black Stars. And he was my senior a, a year ahead of me, so I saw him in school when he started playing. You know, but Jay Coach Sapon did something extraordinary on him and, and and transformed him into a striker. So that was a peculiar case. Somebody dedicated himself to, you know, work on him, and and so it's 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 it's, it's something we you know that has to be looked at from a from a bigger picture and probably from the ministries or from the GFA they, they need to look at building structures that will enable us to produce more strikers. Valentina what's your thoughts on this? Well I think um, it has to do with the beginning like Joey said um, sometimes the parents should also encourage them I, I mean what will happen if uh, Asian's mom uh, discouraged him from playing yeah so I think when the kids start playing at the tender ages they should be encouraged uh, so that we'll have we might have uh, more strikers even than middle fielders if if they're encouraged so yeah okay cool uh, so there is a, an international game friendly coming up black stars versus montenegro um joey have you been oh. following this i haven't tell me more <laughs> 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 now i understand yeah how much you don't love um football I'm a busy guy, you see. I have an excuse, hopefully. Ah, this excuse. <laughs> I don't know if it's tenable, but we'll take it. <laughs> okay, have you been following them? I mean, we're going to play Montenegro. How much do you know about Montenegro? Mm, not, not much, really. I not don't much. know. Okay, Adam? No, not much. I mean, they're, they're not a known footballing nation, so... I've, I've not critically followed them. Okay, and uh, what do you think about the game between Ghana and Montenegro? Knowing very well that they are not such a footballing nation, uh, they, they are not really, you know, represented so much on the international stage. But what do you think about this friendly? Is, is it a critical game for us? No, it's not a critical game. I, I, I think it's essential, though. Um, you know, Kusiapi has the liberty to, 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 to test certain players who people have been pronouncing as, you know, capable. Of fitting into the black stars he has the chance to for example allow them in, into such international competitive terrain just to see how they'll be able to fare so i think it's good and the fact that the opposition is not too stiff also allows the guys comfort to express themselves so you know i am i i i think steven adams has been invited in, mm -hmm. into the team and fatal drop and fatal was dropped um that, that, did you see that, that coming 
I think I think there are two sides to that issue. I mean, first of all, the fact that Fatah has been in almost every competitive game. Um, he's not somebody who, who, who's worth it. We do not know. So we should allow somebody else. I mean, Kwasi has always been with the team, but it's been a while since we saw him in, in, in something very competitive. So I, I feel giving those two the opportunity is good. And um, I, and the other issue might be whether or not, you know, Akwesi Apia is looking at other people because of Fatah's inability to get playing time at um, Orlando Pirates. Well, he's been playing recently, yeah, but conceding he, con he's, he's been very conceding delicious, very, shameful goals. You, you know, <laughs> unfortunately. So, so there are two sides to it. But I, f I don't think we should place too much premium on that. I, I feel that, you know, the game is, 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 is not that intensive. It's not against a still side. I mean, we have more difficult friendlies coming up. We have one against the Holland, yeah. where, which will be coming up later on. And I think there's one also being lined up um, 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 against... Uh, I think France or, or so that that's not been confirmed yet. But those are those are more stiff games, and that is when we are getting closer to the World Cup. So we we'll see the guys who actually make it to the World Cup. But for now, I think the game against Montenegro is a good warm up. It's a good test for the for the new guys who will be coming mm. in. So mm. it, it also allows Chrissy to express himself. So. Joey, have you ever kicked the ball? Have you ever tried to play football? Um, you know, when I was young, I was more of a rugby player than ah. than a football. It's funny. I mean, my my football skills was surprisingly not that good. Although I, I do very coordinated physical athletic performance now. I think it's like anything, like ball control, you have to start from a young kid and it becomes your de developmental ability pre-puberty is, is so fascinating and playing with a ball constantly, your muscle memory will develop and you need that I think unless you've begun from five, like mm -hmm. a lot of Ghana kids a ball becomes almost part of part of movement and if you don't have that it's lost it's very hard to to gain that and that goes for a lot of sports right. so i think because i wasn't immersed in that from a young age you're, there's always those kids that have grown up with a football stuck to their yeah. foot <laughs> and it's it's amazing yeah you know yeah valentina ever try yeah, I actually played number seven in <laughs> JHS. Really? Yeah. How many goals did you score? Two. <laughs> After how many games? Thousand? No. <laughs> Just five. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, two out of five. <laughs> that, that's not bad at all. I mean, mm. Fernando Torres would want that so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just had to throw that in. <laughs> I just had to throw that in. Anyway, so Africa Hall, tell us about your uh, whole week. Okay, it's um, our 40, uh, 46, sorry, um, annual whole week celebration. It starts today, like I said, to the 8th of March. Um, we have a clean-up exercise going on right now at the hall. We are cleaning the hall and then it's um, environs. And then on Sunday, tomorrow, we have um, Fanarosis. It's a crusade. On Monday, we have um, a leadership talk, a seminar, um, dubbed Women in Leadership. I think you should come. Uh, you remember. think? Yeah. <laughs> if you could. <laughs> and then on Tuesday, we have a um, makeup, a makeup talk. Um, we are trying to teach the ladies how to, you know, make up. Or well, have they been doing some horrendous makeup on, on <laughs> campus? Uh, yeah, I think we can call it that. <laughs> <laughs> so we are trying to educate them. Um, a little on the makeup on Wednesday. That's when the real thing starts. Okay. We are launching everything the whole week. Uh, we have a cadet. Mm. Yeah, and then after we have the first ladies' night. First ladies' night. Yeah. What's that? Um, in Africa, we have two blocks, A and B. Every floor is represented by the name of an African country. So the ladies will pose as the first ah. ladies, and then they have a, um, a conference, quite entertaining. Ah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> very, very interesting. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's good to see you. Wish you all the best. And this is free. It's open to everyone. Yeah, it's open to everyone. You're not charging? No. Oh, free things are great. <laughs> <laughs> free. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. My interest is, is with the uh, leadership issue. Yeah, the leadership. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think that women are providing the right leadership required to steer development for this country? Yeah, I think uh, it, it's a very important issue because um, the mother, for instance, uh, is, is like, I'll say, I always say the mothers are the um, breadwinners of the house as opposed to what most people think because um, the nature's 
Kofi Annan, for instance, is, is a great man, and he was nurtured by a woman. So I believe leadership starts from women. Yeah. Fantastic. Joey here, nurtured by a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Adam, nurtured by a woman. Of course. Yes. So, so women are definitely the bread. Yeah. That's your concept. Yeah. I, that's I think I'll buy into it. it. It's quite true. Yeah. Very yeah. true. Thank All right. Okay, so before we take a break, um, I want to talk to Joey about martial arts. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was growing <laughs> up, I always wanted to join this Taekwondo team. <laughs> but it looked so scary. I mean, I was always thinking, what would I do if anything landed on my face? <laughs> because in future, I want to, you know, use my <laughs> face to work. Yeah. Uh, so I was always scared. But I love the art of Taekwondo, of, you know, the martial It's so beautiful. You know, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I think over All 25 years. Over, over 25 years? Yeah. And you are 31. Yeah, I'm 31. So yeah, maybe 26 years, mm -hmm. I think. I started when I was in London growing up. When I was five, I started a bit. My cousin used to do wushu. Um, which one is that? Which cousin? Well, what's wushu? Yeah. Wushu is what Jet Li does. Um. It's, a, it's a Chinese kind of kung fu, almost kind of demonstration with quite acrobatic and balletic in it. It um, comes from northern Shaolin kind of roots. Mm -hmm. But my serious martial arts training began in Ghana. When I came here age nine, I started Taekwondo at GIS, ah. where I was at school. And the Mr. Michaels was, <laughs> was the, the name of the guy who, who was my teacher at the time. And it's good because Ghana martial arts... You've got to understand, back in the West, a lot of martial arts training has become quite soft with lawsuits around every corner. Yeah. People don't really want to get hurt. They want to get their black belt without going through, where's, you know, going through the, the wars type thing. Whereas I think the way martial arts was taught in Ghana in the mid-90s was very similar to old school in the East. Training on stone floor, outside, bare feet, no pads in sight, no kind of protective gear. You know, um, and you were not deterred. No, because I think that's that's what's exciting. You you grow up watching martial arts films and you see them being beasted, right? And that's part of the attraction. You feel you haven't earned it unless you've been. You were talking about academy discipline. Yeah. You feel that unless you have that discipline and that hardship, you don't deserve the the it's accolade it. at the end of it, right? So it's the same. And that gave me a really good foundation. And then when I went back to the UK when I was fourteen. I did ninjutsu, I did capoeira, the Brazilian martial art, and, and on and on and on and on. Fantastic. Are you going to be in Brazil for the World Cup? I have no immediate plans to, but who knows? I travel a lot through work, through film, film work. I'm, I'm always traveling. Okay. So. When we come back, we'll talk to you about your film work, but I have to say thank you to Valentina. Um, Raya will be joining us. Raya is a beautiful, very beautiful lady, uh, sister of my colleague Benny Blanco. And uh, she's, a, she's a fantastic cook. I mean, if you think that your girlfriend cooks very well. I think so. <laughs> wait till you taste her food. <laughs> we'll be back. For sure. Okay, welcome back to the show. Thanks to Cookies Pala, Enosu for my hair. And also thanks to Nokia Asha Ice Range and MTN, sponsors of the show. And we have to welcome Raya. Here. Raya, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Okay, very well. I was telling him that, you know, he hasn't tasted your food yet, so he should never say his girlfriend cooks very well. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> how are you doing, Raya? I'm good. I'm it's good to see you. Thank you. Your brother loves football. I'm not sure about you. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I have my teams that I support, I and then I watch when they play and then I zone right back out. And then all I do is I log on to the internet like every few days and then just check if we're on top of the league table, i.e. Chelsea, hello, how you doing? Oh, and then, <laughs> and so that's, that's how I do I'm I'm useless okay. with football though. Okay, but you follow the Black Stars? Yes. Yeah? You think we'll win the World Cup? <sighs> I, I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx it. Ah. I'm not going to say anything. Really? Oh, you're just scared. You're not sure. No, I, I'm, I'm on the positive side, uh -huh. but I just don't want to say it. I just don't want to jinx it because you know what's happened every time we go to World Cup, we get to a certain point 
and then we come back home. <laughs> I just don't want to talk about it. Yeah. And then we'll see how we go this time. All right. So Raya has her own thing going on. Bougie culinary. Hello. Yeah. I love your packaging, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to taste that. The, what's the that? salad. The salad, right? Chicken salad. So you're going for the healthy side. Yes. We cater to everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love food. I don't really care if it's healthy. Or not. Yeah. It doesn't look like I you just, put any weight on. I just love food. But I, I exercise, so. Really? Yeah. Joey. <laughs> like the way you're looking at me. <laughs> like, like, I'm not too sure. <laughs> oh, but no, I, I, no I you look like you're naturally fit. Yeah, but I just don't like taking chances as well, you know. So I exercise. You yeah. never know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you can eat what you want. Oh, yeah. I, I eat everything. I can't. You can't? Yeah. yeah? You're very... You know. I was quite big. I was actually quite big. I've lost a stone and a half. Oh, wow. I did a total lifestyle health change. Oh, wow. So I work out... I used to work out five days a week, twice a day. Now I work out five days a week, once a day. Wow. Congrats. Thank you. You've done well. It's still a journey. Yeah, it's the, you, That's you're, why you're I have the healthy side and I have the bad. <laughs> so which one do you patronize most? The healthy side, of course. Well, <laughs> the healthy side, yes, more for me, but then also for everybody else who just wants to have a burger and not look left or right and just feel cool. Okay, cool. Anyway, so we're talking about um, the Black Stars Against Montenegro. It's a friendly coming up. Um, Fatal Dauda dropped. I remember the last time uh, Ghana played Egypt. I watched it with you, and you were all over the place because we were missing chances. <laughs> it wasn't a sex one in Kumasi, it was a, the return leg in Egypt. Yeah. And uh, you were quite upset at, at some yeah, point. I left, I said, okay, yeah, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Yeah. You were expecting too much from the team. I was. I mean, obviously, there's been some changes in the team. We are not like how we used to be, but I think we're gaining momentum at the moment. I think we're almost back to where we used to be. Um, the thing about Fatal not playing, I'm, I, I don't know of the new uh, goalkeeper that they're putting in place, so I'm not too sure about that. But oh, you, you didn't follow the Chan, the local teams, the local, oh, the local the teams, local, local base players. The local base players, not as such. I mean, I have my team, but I don't follow them as such. I okay. won't. Yeah. Okay. But um, so he's not playing. I don't know about the guy they're putting in place. I know Montenegro, they're not too good. Mm-hmm. They're, and they're not really soccer famous, yeah. so I think we have a good chance. Yeah, yeah. against them. Yeah. But it's just a friendly. But still, we've got to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what, what do you think of the return of the senior players like Essien and uh, Kevin Prince Boating? Well, I mean, I think Essien being a kind of star premiership footballer brings a lot of prestige and, and excitement, and I'm sure bolsters. You know the confidence of the team in the midfield. I mean, he, I know he was he had injury issues previously that he's come back from, um, and there's questions about his age being thrown into it. Is he the same SCN that he had? But I'm not judging either way, but um, you'll be able to probably shed more light on on that side of things, the injury side and the age side. But it's definitely a good thing, I think, because it adds prestige and confidence and the most important thing is international experience, Absolutely. which is what any team, you know, one of the underdogs going to the big boys stage needs, you yeah. know. Raya, the return of SCN to He's the side. He's actually one of my favourite players, obviously because I support Chelsea, but uh, and he's left now. But the thing is with Michael, it's like, with the injury thing and him coming back, I mean, the last few games he's he's done really well. He's done really good. So I'm actually happy with his return. I'm I'm good with that. Okay, Adam. Yeah, I mean, Isien always adds a lot to the team. Um, he he has a lot of experience, a lot of international exposure. I mean, he's played in the Champions League. He's played in the biggest leagues around the world. He's played in France. He's played in England, and now he's in Italy. So he, he has a lot of experience. Having you know. As a way, gone through the mill in terms of the national teams. He's been with the under 20. Um, he, he's been with the Meteors. He's now playing for the Black Star. So mm-hmm. he has a lot of experience and a lot of exposure. And you always need that sort of balance 
you know, I, when, you, when you have a very youthful side like, like we do, you always need that sort of balance where you get the experienced guys to always, you know, be able to pep the young guys and talk to them and, and show them what to do. When, when the going gets tough, you really need the, 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 the experienced guys to do their business for you. And, and I think we saw it in, in, in the first um, um, game against, against Egypt. Egypt in the qualifiers, how, 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 how instrumental it was in the midfield, you know, distributing balls and then making surges forward here and there. And I'm more excited, you know, now that he's in Italy because <laughs> it creates better telepathy between him and Sule Montari. They're already good friends, even off the pitch. You know, so that that, that adds a lot to, to, to our Black Stars foot. And he knows most of these guys that we are going to play against. He's played with Ronaldo at Real Madrid. You know, he's played um, um, with, with these American guys. He's played them before. So he, he, he brings in a lot. I mean, we can't underestimate whatsoever what is in that to that team. It's, it's so huge. Okay, Raya, Germany, Portugal, USA. Mm -hmm. Walkover for Ghana. Say yes. It says a walkover. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you told me to say yes, so I said yes. Okay. But do you think we're going to have it easy? I mean, I, people are so scared of... Um, Germany, but I think we could. That's the first. That, <laughs> that's the first thing was like Germany. Yeah. I don't. I think we'll. I think we'll be good. I think what happens normally when we actually go into this, you know, like big stage um, World Cup thing is we start off really slow and then we pick up our momentum. We True. always start like True. that. Yeah. So I don't know how we're gonna start. I don't know I how guess it's gonna USA. kick off. Oh, USA, that's just a walk. Our boogie boys. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's a walkover, though, it is. Yeah? It is. But, but, you think? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> they have a new coach. <laughs> and so do we. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Technically. That's true. We, we also have a new coach. And we've done well with him. Yeah, very well, actually. So, so you think USA... I think Done we. Deal. I think we. I, th I think we'll probably tie. Or, no, we'll, we'll beat them. It'll be probably like a one nil. That's what will happen. Amen Brazil. to that one. And then Portugal. Portugal. I don't know yet. You think we can't beat Portugal? I. Th I. 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 I think we'll probably tie with them. Yeah. Yeah. And Germany. Germany. I don't know. <laughs> You're so scared. <laughs> I don't know. That's the one that scares me the most. Yeah. yeah. Joey. Germany. Portugal. USA. I think as just, USA statistically would be the, the easiest matchup out of the group. I mean, Germany recently, from my recollection, has been super strong. But in their history, they've had a couple of fluctuations. If anything, I'd be more personally scared of Portugal than Germany. I know everyone's saying, oh, Germany's the Because kid. of Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah, and just, they're, I think, a very solid team. And their, and their performance is, is quite consistent. Whereas Germany's had the odd random dip occasionally. But maybe, I'd, as I said, I'm not up to date on Germany's current national team and they may be rock solid. With they that. are. No, no. We, so you would say they're stronger than Portugal at the moment? Yes. Considerably. Yes, they are so strong. <laughs> they are so strong. Too strong. Too strong, actually, so, yeah. They're too strong. So removing Ghana from the equation, you don't even think Portugal has a chance against Germany? Oh, no. Portugal... I doubt it. I okay. mean, Cristiano Ronaldo would have to carry the whole team, but I, I doubt it. I think we will beat USA. Mm. That's certified. Yeah. Draw Portugal. That's four points. Germany can do whatever they want to do with us. <laughs> <laughs> I have a contrary opinion. Though. Okay. I think our most difficult game will be against the US. Being the fact that, you know, <laughs> we beat them in 2006, we beat them in 2010. Mm. I mean, if not for anything, they have more information on, on, on Ghana than any of the other teams we are going to play against. Um, Germany, we met them in 2010, and we lost by, by a goal to, to nil. I remember Messi to Israel scored that goal. Yeah. You know, um, so even, even Germany, they don't have so much. The last time we lost heavily against them was a long time ago, where they beat, beat us 6 1 in Boko. You know, but. Um, I, I think the U and, and the, the fact that U.S. now have Jürgen Klinsmann as their coach, with all the experience he has in football. I mean, it's, it's not like Bob Bradley. Bob Bradley played some football, but or, or Bruce Arena. But you know, Klinsmann played football to the highest level. Mm -hmm. He's won the World Cup. He, he's he's played you know some of the best 
teams so in the did world. Maradona, no doubt. Argentina flop. No doubt, but but the different the thing is that Jurgen Klinsmann has even had success with the German national team when he coached That's them in true. 2006. Mm -hmm. it, it, they they played third in the World Cup, you know. So I think. I think our most difficult game would be against the US. Portugal, I think we will beat. Okay. I don't think we'll drag against, but I think we'll beat Portugal and probably get lucky against Germany. Yeah? yeah. Well, when you say get lucky, <laughs> what do you mean? Get lucky against Germany in the sense that, you know, we, we are going in as underdogs. And, you know, the Black Stars always perform when they feel, you know, they, they are the team to beat. They, that's when the springs up. In, in 2010, I think it was just a little lapse by, by, by Richard Kinson. Otherwise, that ball wouldn't have gone in any way. It we, doesn't matter. We, 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 <laughs> would have, we, should we, have, could have. We, <laughs> that is football. You know, the you know, ball went in. The ball went in, no <laughs> doubt. But, but, but I th in as much as they have a very, very solid team, I think we, have, we, have, we, we could get lucky against Germany. We beat Portugal, but we shouldn't underestimate the US. Okay, let me go for some messages here. Uh, Amanda um, SCB says, Raya is so beautiful. No wonder Benny is always going on and on and on about her on TV. I'm not sure Benny goes on and on and on about Raya. <laughs> okay, anyway, sometimes, yeah. He does? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, I missed it sometimes. <laughs> sometimes he does, okay. Efo Della says, as for the USA, even if we send the black princesses to play them on the White House lawn, we will beat them. <laughs> That's highly optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Larry says that, um, well, this will be the final, you know, in the group stage for our group. Germany, nine points. Portugal, six points. USA, three points. Ghana, zero. Oh. Isn't that unpatriotic? Very <laughs> unpatriotic. That boy, I need to block you, Larry. Um, says Ghana is going to top the group with nine points. Hopefully. Okay. Um, David... And Saba says, Raya Eshen. Oh, very beautiful. Are you single? <laughs> Raya is not single. She is so taken. Nanaba, is that a son of Koansa? He, he looks so much like him. Actually, that is Kofi Ansa's son. And uh, Koan says, nephew. nephew. Yes. Okay. Echo Atedu says, okay, Echo is talking about something else. Um, there are more messages here for you, Raya. Why are you taking all the attention really? here? No, yeah. all, all about Raya. Oh. It should be the Raya show. I, I know, <laughs> the Raya show. Actually, that's very true. Okay, Nick says that, good morning. Um, I love your show and it's brightening this morning. Okay. Um, Amanda comes back to say that, um, Raya, What's the name of your restaurant again and where do we find you? Okay, it's actually not a restaurant, it's actually a food delivery service and okay. a catering or an event service. So it's uh, internet based and obviously with phone calls, it's a delivery service. You call, what we like to do is if you call like between 8 to 10 in the morning, we have your food out to you by 12.30, ah. 1.30 in the afternoon to make it easier for you and you can pre-order the day before so that's not that where's my food situation <laughs> you know, oh fantastic so, that's how, it did. Uh, the so how, how do we find you on the net on the uh, internet? I'm on Instagram and uh, it's under uh, bougie culinary gh oh. and if you follow Benny then Benny's always tagging me or I'm tagging him so okay. and then the phone number is 0200 B-O-U-J-I-S okay Interesting. <laughs> I should invoice you. That's not an MTN number. MTN sponsors my show. <laughs> okay. Nana um, Ansa Abiesie says that um, I love Joey. I mean, I also dream of being a martial art person. Okay. But again, my parents keep telling me that it's not a healthy sport. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. It's healthy. What, yeah, what's not healthy about it? Have you had any injuries? Yes. Ah! You do get injuries, but that's, I mean, I'm... I, well, just like any sport. Yeah, and I think because I do sort of stunt work, quite high-risk stuff, and acrobatics, like gymnastics... So what's, I'm, like, the worst injury you've had? Snapped Achilles tendon. Ooh! You see there, the scar. Yeah. That was about a year ago. How long did it take to heal? Fully about a year, but within five months I, I was flipping again. But that's very, as you know, for a lot of footballers, Achilles tendon is, is, is a career-ending yeah. injury. Yeah. So 
for anyone out there that experiences something like that, surgery, some doctors will tell you, no, we'll just put your leg in a cast and scar tissue will grow. Always try and go for surgery if you have the means to and rehab, rehab, rehab. Okay. Active recovery is, is, is the way forward. All right. Now, I, I, before we take our next break, just tell us, you are an actor as well. Um, tell us how it's going for you. Good. Um, I'm a filmmaker as well. Oh, I've right. just also Like your uncle. Indeed, indeed, world takeover. So I've just done a very exciting project that I directed, I co-wrote, I was a producer on it, I've choreographed, it's based on the video game Street Fighter oh. that most people, most guys grew up playing, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I got the rights about five years ago, I pitched to Capcom, the company that makes the game, and did a short, a pilot which had over 10 million hits on YouTube. And then since then, I've got the rights to do a big feature-length multi-million dollar series, which, I've, which comes out in April. Mm. So, um, yeah, I'm in it. I directed it. I choreographed it. I wrote it. So it's, it's all the skills I've developed over the last decade working in, in show business. Um, and it's a global product. I mean, this Fantastic. the game has millions of fans worldwide, so it's going to be seen by a lot of We're people. happy for you. Oh, Very you. happy for you. Now tell us about, what is it, Boba Boba Boba? Yeah. What's um, it called? The Boba Games. <laughs> Boba, Boba yeah. Boba Games, yeah. Bleu, or Dadie. Boche. Boche. And a disco. Okay. So it's um, the 2003 group um, for, for all the four schools. We're coming together. The major activity on the day is football, but we have other you will sides. Lose. No. <laughs> <laughs> the major activity is football, you know, um, but we have other games on the sides as well. So, what we're trying to do is just to create a network between um, past students of these four, four schools. They're all boys' schools, and you know the rivalry I mean, Cape Coast and Accra. When it's Accra, it's Accra Academy Presec. If it's in Cape Coast, it's Addis Ababa and Fantipem. So, we're just trying to to m as well. Prasek is the best in our craft. Well, I, I, I guess that's debatable. Um, <laughs> extremely, <laughs> extremely debatable. Yeah? The cameraman is, is shaking his head. He doesn't agree with you. <laughs> See? He wasn't even at Prasek. I think he was at You know, so, so yeah, um, we're trying to create a, a network among ourselves, do stuff beyond sports, though, but it's, it's, we're starting with sports. Like last year, we had it, but it was just with Prasek, and this year we've expanded you it. Too. Ah, you said you... Pizza. They were mauled. We really? Them. Uh, it, was, it was a father son thing. And it's happening on the 7th of March at the Presec School Park. Okay. Yeah. Where last year we, we, we kept them at their own backyard. <laughs> so this year we, we do it. So you're welcome back. Raya, who's your money on? Bukombaku or Ayute Powers? Bukombaku. Why him? I don't know because when I get the clips, he's the one who makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're going for that because of the comedy? The comedy factor. Mmm. Who come won't like you for this? <laughs> but anyway, he's unbeaten. Really? You know, he, he's, he's the stronger of the two, well, on paper. Okay. Mm. All right, this morning we're having um, an audition at the Sunset Hotel for actors and uh, actresses. And so if you want to be um, in the latest series on TV, on TV3, you need to make your way to the Sunset Hotel. And I'll join Evans Inkub now from Kumasi. We want to see how many people showed up at the Sunset Hotel this morning. So, Evans, if you're ready, tell us more about it. Okay, I think Evans is not ready. But a disco, two Adisco guys have joined um, Accra Academy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell us. Will you tell me you beat them? Of course. Yeah. We are beating them. I yeah. mean, hands down. Yeah. Are you, you know, sure? Accra Kai is a representation of Addis Ababa College in Accra. Please. You know, yeah. <laughs> Please. You know, as then, a Mojan, who is the striker of the uh, national team now, yeah. you know, he wanted to be a musician. Yeah. But he took inspiration from his senior brother, Ziba Fojan. There's no fact. There's Russian, no fact. You that. know, so, I mean, they are our Please. sons in Accra. There's they no are fact going to be them on the day. Yeah. yeah. Teach them a lesson. Yeah. But can I have a take on the Buko Manku game? Yes. You know, Who's your money on? Oh, Aite Powers. Why? You know his haircut. You know the name of his haircut. You can't tell if you go to Tanshi or Kwe. You know, he has had international exposure. Bukum has only fought in Ghana. Okay. And so I think that he can't... He said he's, he's tired of spending CDs. He wants dollars and pounds. <laughs> Raya, so um, I'm going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. You can have the burger. Thank you. Well, you've probably, there's salmon in there. Okay. Oh, you can have the others. And then the salad dressing is there. Okay. Thank you very much. Bougie culinary from Raya Eshen. 
Uh, find her on Instagram, Bushy Culinary G H. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, and we are proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Joey, thank you so much for passing through. Wish you all the best. Okay, there was a message there from a lady who was asking if you're married. Not yet, but I'm sure I will be soon enough. Soon enough, okay.